What's going on guys, Jake Adams here and um, I find myself in the home of an excellent uh, reef builder, my buddy Michael Rice and he's got a really gorgeous little nano reef tank. Um, I featured it on the website before but um, since I've been doing a lot of action on the YouTube channel I figured it was time to do a video of this nano tank because uh, it's really uh, a little bit easier I guess to showcase and feature some of the uh, some of the larger tanks, they, uh, it's very easy for a large tank to be impressive. So I um, figured uh, I'd show you guys an impressive nano tank here at Mike's house. So let's check it out. What's up, Mike? Hi. How's it going, man? Good. Uh, thanks for letting me come see your reef tank again. Yeah, definitely. It is a treasure. Holy crap, that thing looks so beautiful. Tell, me, tell, us, tell us a little bit about this tank. What's the volume? How long has it been set up? Well, it's a 30 gallon innovative marine tank. It's been set up for Probably about six years, though it's only been a reef for probably two years now. Oh yeah, what'd you do before that? It was a frag tank before that. Oh, okay, so very I grew cool. Out pretty much all the specimens that are in here now, and fragged them over time, and then eventually decided to just make it into a reef tank. See how it grew out. Very nice, and um, you've been working at Elite Reef pretty much since the store opened up, right? Yep. Seven years. And you do the uh, Elite Reef uh, YouTube channel, right? Yeah, definitely. And what is that called? It is Elite Reef Denver. Very cool. So yeah, Elite Reef is, uh, especially in Denver, is very well known for uh, having some really amazing nano aquariums. Um, I think that some of that might be the function of the size of the place, right? It's a little bit small, so it yeah, made more definitely. sense to pack in a lot more nano tanks. Yeah, although we're moving to a shop twice as big right now, so. You know, it's always uh, always makes me smile when I hear that um, the shops aren't shutting down, but they're moving to a new, bigger location. Definitely. Very cool. So yeah, Elite Reef is definitely one of the uh, reef-centric uh, aquarium shops in the Denver area. Um, I'm gonna have to go feature the, some of the tanks that you guys have before you shut it down. Yeah, definitely. Very cool. Let's take a look at some quick. of the equipment that makes this thing tick. All right, so this is, um, who makes this tank? Innovative Marine. So is it Innovative Marine Nuvo 34? It's the just the 30. Just the, the 30. first generation of the Nuvos. All right, so what do we have going on back here? You got kind of a, a mild cluster, and I'm not quite sure where to start. Um, I guess we'll start on, on the left side here. All right, so we got the Refugium back here, yeah. which is basically just growing hair algae right now. And you just have a compact fluorescent light in there? Yeah, just the old standard bulb. And you use uh, Julian or Tulo Fishy's Calcwasser reactor? Yep, run off the auto top off. And yeah, we already talked about that. It just automatically is adding uh, Calcwasser to the tank with top off. Yeah, exactly. And then you have this protein skimmer here. Which uh, skimmer is that? It used to be an innovative marine skimmer, but I actually cut out the bottom and used a wood air stone to drive it. So yeah, this one's been modified to be air driven. And then yeah, I've got a basic uh, fan uh, blowing down the end of this. This is also controlled by the, uh, yeah, the reef, reef keeper. keeper. Reef keeper. What do you try to keep the temperature at? 78 degrees. 78 degrees. And then uh, finally, this uh, this is what this <laughs> this light was made for tanks like this. This is a Kessel A350. Yep. And you've been using it for five years. Yeah. Five years, and it's still keeping the corals just totally banging. Holy crap, man! Your color is just. Something to be uh, jealous of for sure. Um, tell me about the pump you have inside the tank and the pump uh, that's actually running the tank. So the return pump in the back, I believe, is a MaxiJet 1200, cheap and it fits. Yeah, gotta love that workhorse. Definitely. Very cool. And then the uh, Eco Drift, is that the 4.0? Yeah, it was a 4.0. I actually modified it. I cut out every other piece of the grill that surrounds it mm -hmm. just to get more flow through it. Very cool. And I run that on the the random mode, just at full power. Um, is that the random mode uh, of the included controller, right? Yeah. Okay. Very cool, and that's just all the time? Yep. All right. Yep, on all the time. Very key. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick look at your little reefing corner here, because there's a lot of different products. Um, so what are some of the things that you dose, and what are the what just leftovers here? I'm guessing that those bigger bottles, the two-part solution is uh, important? Yeah, definitely. I dose the calcium and the top off. Okay. Just keep that level up, and then I do dose some of the ability the buffer once a day. So you dose Calcwasser? Yeah, plus the calcium, I'll dump that into the actual top-off water. Okay. 
just to boost the levels a little bit slowly through time. And then uh, I got a. I also use balance, keep the pH up. Okay. So, so that usually just with water changes once a week. And you're counting on the pH probe from the Reef Keeper light to tell you all that? I actually don't have a pH probe on it. Oh, okay. All right. And then yeah. some fuel. Yep. All right. So, so that's your amino acid of choice. Yeah, exactly. And you got a little uh, magnesium on over yeah, here. Yeah, which I dose on occasion if I'm having trouble getting the calcium where I want it. Do you use um, any calcium or G? Or, sorry, do you use any carbon or GFO nope. or nothing like that? Yeah, no chemical filters. I try not to use anything I have to replace. What about uh, water changes? What kind of water changes do you do on this thing? Do five gallons once a week. Five gallons once a week. Yeah, this is a super clean, totally legit reef tank. You can just see the corals are totally banging. Every time I come over here, knowing how beautiful this tank is, I'm still just, it takes me a minute to be able to take it all in because the corals are so colorful. And this is just what, this is the kind of reef tank that people aim for. They just, you know, just a nice balance. I love how you get everything grouped too. Um, some of the, the lords over here, got a little chalice coral city over there and um, a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, jack-o'-lantern leptoceris here on the side that looks even nicer than the last time I saw it. Cool, so just um, give me a little bit of anecdotes about your reef tank. Uh, maybe tell me about some of your favorite corals and definitely your ethos. What, tell me about your tank. Well, I think the main thing about it is just to keep things simple. I mean, I try to keep this tank to where any maintenance I do on it is simple enough that I know I'm gonna be able to do that and reproduce that in the long term. So I do a water change obviously once a week is the main maintenance. And other than that... What salt mix do you use? Because I'm sure someone's... I use around. Kent salt. Yeah, so I try to keep that stuff really simple. I clean the glass once a day, which I also think is key just because it makes you slow down, look at the tank. Yeah, very cool, man. I always try to tell people like, the best test kits is your eyes. You know, yeah, you got to stop and observe the tank and see what it's up to. Um, you want to point out any of your favorite corals in here? Probably the pink boobies chalice. So for anybody that don't know, the pink boobies chalice is right there. This was a strain um, first cultivated by Vivid Aquariums in uh, Los Angeles, California, actually Van Nuys. A really pink chalice with green mouths. And I see you got two pieces there that have since merged, huh? Yep. And what's the one underneath it? Is that one of the mummy eyes? Yeah, that one's the original mummy eye. Okay, yeah, because I know they've uh, they've uh, bifurcated. There's a lot of different mummy eyes and uh, Miami hurricanes and things like that, and I get kind of confused with all of them. Yeah, definitely. So, man, you have a really gorgeous looking reef tank. You know, this is the kind of aquarium that people um, aspire to keep. But um, you know, one question I do like to ask people, um, if you had to do it over, you know, uh, what were some of the things you might change? I guess the biggest thing would be that I would probably have split the rock more down okay. the center and kind of divided it. So not a fundamental change, but just an aquascape change. Yeah, exactly. It's just a kind of a problem as the acans and chalice are meeting. Yeah. Some of them interact differently. Some of them seem to be fine with each other's. Others just begin stinging each other out right away. So just to kind of separate the species and give it a more long-term solution. And then if you have, um, you already talked about keeping it simple, but do you have any other uh, more granular advice for people trying to uh, do a reef tank like this one? Do water changes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I feel like factor. in this hobby, like so many people are just trying to get away from doing water changes and it's just such an easy thing to do. It's uh, just a silly not to. Yeah, it just gets overlooked. Yeah. And when you do the water changes, don't make it into a huge thing just get the water change done make yeah the glass dirty if you need to yeah it's and really easy to get caught up into like gravel siphoning and sucking out a little bit of algae and exactly. doing all the maintenance but no it just, just adds to the dread of the water change just, it's so easy to change five gallons of water right exactly so easy very cool well thanks for having me over at your house your tank looks beautiful as ever um, I gotta say, I'm uh, very curious to see what you would do on a on a version 2.0 or a next iteration of a personal reef tank. But for now, this is looking amazing. Yeah, we'll see. Very cool. So, uh, thanks a lot, Mike. Definitely check out the uh, Elite Reef Denver YouTube channel. Link will be in the description. Um, they got a kick-ass store uh, in Arvada, and it's gonna be moving here in a month. And I'm sure we'll be featuring the shop as it opens up. Definitely. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thank you.